Hello gainers and giants, Ralphie here with some fitter philosophy, putting the fitness and the philosophy together as one to make it more than the sum of its parts. Now part of our progress, part of our evolution in our fitness of body and mind holistically is when we approach that time of the year that provides us the opportunity to adjust to review and to reassess what we're doing, where we're at and where we're going. Now this is a very, very important part of our progress and I highly recommend that at least once a year you take the opportunity of overviewing what you have achieved, how much time you have committed to yourself in your personal development, both in physical fitness and mental health as well. Uh, mental fitness and uh, the 1st of January is actually a really good time to do it particularly if the if you're in the US and Western Europe that there are there are other new years around the world most notably the Chinese New Year which takes place after the Western New Year but I'll just stick with the Western New Year because for me tying in with the festivals around me in the society I live is convenient now, what we do at this moment in time is we look at what we've achieved. Have we achieved a little? Have we achieved a lot over the year? The year that's now behind us. The year that we made plans for a year ago. And we have to do this annual rev review to spring clean out where we're at so as to improve the quality of where we're going future-wise in terms of our fitness and our philosophy, personal philosophy. So, time for New Year. Wherever you are, there will be a new year. It's cyclical. It's like the full spin of the clock, the full rotation of a wheel. It's a universal principle. Keep it simple. That's another universal principle. Whatever your plans have been and whatever you've accomplished, when it comes to reviewing and revising and redefining your plan, K-I-S, keep it simple. The more simple you keep it, the more functional and realistically achievable it becomes. If you create a plan for yourself which is too complex, too elongated, and get too many components in it, there is simply more of a risk that you can't achieve your objective. When you keep it simple, keep your ambitions simple at the same time. It isn't the giant leaps that take us up the mountain to the summit of life. It's all the little steps happening on a daily basis and understanding that and keeping those steps small so as that you can keep your pace and keep your progress. So review that progress. Review from the previous year, from your work diaries, from your wall planners, from your target that you had up in the wall of your bedroom to keep you right and keep you mentally focused on your physical progress. Review it. Have you achieved what you wanted to achieve? Did you set your sights too high? Set your sights too low? Have you surpassed your achievements or fallen short? Do you know the reason you've fallen short? Is it because of ill health, family pressures? So long as you have a clear overview of your personal circumstance as to your progress, then that becomes the foundations of setting real, realistic, achievable progress for the future taking into account and factoring in personal circumstances to make things more achievable. So you've reviewed your progress, revise your expectations. If you have maybe not achieved as much as you wanted to achieve in the previous year, you've got to ask ourselves, have we been realistic in our expectations? Should we be expecting a little bit less of ourselves or Alternatively, should we in fact be setting our sights a little bit higher and expecting 
more of ourselves because with experience, we know ourselves better. We're making more time in, in the day for our exercise and for our fitness and philosophy. And you've we basically, we know people better around us who can help us with that team effort for the individual. Individuals are always most effective when they're working on their own with a, with a team playing to strengths. So you've revised expectations. So now we've reviewed the year, decided how we're going to progress. Do we need to recalibrate the system? In other words, has the set of exercises, the frequency of going to the gym, the number of walks we've taken around the city or in the country, have all these been effective? Do we need to recalibrate what we're actually doing to achieve our goals? Now, if we need to do so, you might find it's nothing particularly drastic or huge in scale. It could be just a tweak or a tuck, a minor modification. That is probably the all that is needed. And all this comes with experience. Experience of progress over time is absolutely invaluable. If you need advice, go to the older folk who have experience, because experience is everything. You will learn from their good experiences and you will also observe their bad experiences. We can learn as much from people doing things wrong as we can from people doing things right. Now, realistic goals, we've recalibrated the system. Now, this is a revisor here. This is a um, just a reminder. Be realistic. Do not imagine after two or three years that you're going to be Mr. Olympia or you're going to be Mr. CrossFit 2019. Fair, fair enough. Have that at the back of your mind to be the best version of yourself. But important thing is, it's the best version of ourselves and not us superimposing onto other people's successes, commitment, endurance, personal circumstances. We should never strive too hard to be influenced by other people on their terms. What we should strive for on a small but constant way is to be the best version of ourselves on our terms as guided and influenced by others around us that we want to be having as a positive influence. And then finally, for the year ahead, reviewed the progress, revised expectations, recalibrated the system we're going to use to achieve our expectations and make progress with realistic goals. We've got our plan. Now let's make it workable, manageable, doable, tailored to us and then go for it. Just go for it. And remember, you can go for it and fall short slightly, but you still went for it. We are all surrounded by people who never go for it because they are frightened of life, they stay in their shells, they, they do not achieve their potential. If we strive to achieve our potential, we can achieve a lot. We may never reach the summit, but I tell you what, we can get high enough up the mountain of life that we, when we turn around and look back from where we came from, we get one hell of a view. And that's what really matters. That's what really counts. It's being the best version of us, to ourselves, for ourselves, by ourselves, with a little help from our friends. And that's one reason, gainers, one reason why I am here, Ralphie, to help you, gainers, with your gains. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to leave a comment, to share your ideas, and I tell you what, pop back again, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.